Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Having a Beer with Rob. I'm Rob. <laughs> this is my show. Thank you so much for uh, coming back to another episode uh, here in my basement. Uh, the show where I drink a beer. And I just talk about whatever the f*** is on my mind. Cheers! Today we are drinking a, uh, this is a good one. This is a raspberry chocolate milk porter. It is called Love Ninja, and it is from the Asheville Brewing Company. Still taking beer sponsors. Just putting it out there, Asheville Brewing Company. Just putting it out there. Oh, f***, that's delicious. Now today I want to talk to you about something very, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, you already know uh, what it is because uh, you probably read the f***ing title of this episode. Today we're talking about time travel. Now you may not have pegged me as a time travel expert, but let me tell you, I've seen all the movies, I've done all the research, and I know all about it, practically, from the internet. General relativity, quantum uh, mechanics, quantum physics, uh, the f***ing Einstein uh, Rosen bridge. <laughs> you didn't think I f***ing knew about that bridge, did ya? Temporal displacement, black holes, white holes, assholes, and f***ing uh, the sinkholes. All of them. I know all about all the f***ing wormholes and all the sh**. And my general conclusion, the headline, the f***ing underline uh, to this whole f***ing episode is time travel completely possible. We just haven't figured it out yet. Primarily because we are a bunch of f***ing idiots running around. Evolved no more than, you know, uh, simple apes. We got some time. We're moving in the right direction. We had some f***ing, some Einsteins and some f***ing Spielbergs that got it right. But... <laughs> We got a long way to go. I mean, technically, we're already there. We've already done it in the future. We just don't know about it yet. Who, who's to even f***ing say that they're not even changing sh right now? Here's the f***ing thing. You got time travelers f***ing popping back and forth all throughout time. But guess what? We f***ing, we've been paying close attention. The amount of evidence is absolutely f***ing stunning. Stunning! Time travelers, beware. We f***ing know. We f***ing know. You're going back in time trying to make it f***ing not possible, but we f***ing know. This is the thing that actually got me started on this whole rant and made me want to make a video about this. I read about this church that was constructed between the years 1600 and 1800, and there's this f***ing sculpture of an astronaut. What the f***? Explain that one to me. That is a full-on fucking astronaut helmet suit bullshit. Even the moon boots. Look at those fucking moon boots. Come on now. Somebody saw fucking something. I got on a roll with this the other day uh, and just started looking up different art with time travel fucking images in it. This is a painting done, I don't know how long ago, long fucking time ago, way before there were iPhones and people were fucking using them. What the fuck is that? And this sculpture of somebody on a goddamn laptop computer complete with USB ports. What? Another church that, that was done in like fucking 600 BC or some shit has a carving of a dinosaur. How do you explain that? They didn't dug up fucking dinosaur bones back then. They didn't know what dinosaurs were. They didn't have the fucking internet. There wasn't a goddamn library. There wasn't a natural museum of history to fucking go study what dinosaurs were and their anatomy. Here's another mind fuck. They found this like miniature sculpture of a fucking watch a watch in a 400 year old tomb carved out of like some fucking bullshit some wood or something what the fuck is that doing in there get the fuck out of time this is a big one it's fucking all over the place but take a look at this picture this is a picture of a bridge opening somewhere in 1940 and there's this dude and he is just chilling amongst these fucking old timers hanging out the fucking t-shirt and a cool sweater, some sunglasses, and a fucking dope haircut from fucking 1996. And this isn't photoshopped. This is completely real. This dude's just there taking pictures. He could be a YouTuber. Have you seen him? Who does that guy look like? What a fucking idiot to fucking have his picture taken. That time traveler fucked up. And I don't know if you've seen the video of the women in like 1921 randomly just fucking walking around with cell phones talking on their cell phone ain't a care in the world yeah oh yeah what are you doing tonight oh me i'm just hanging out in 1923 in bulgaria wherever the fuck. 
There's gotta be some kind of fucking interdimensional fucking code of ethics and conduct here. You don't just fucking walk around with your goddamn cell phone. You definitely don't go around in regular fucking clothes. You gotta play the goddamn part. Or you can just put it right out in the open, you know, and not even give a fuck. There's a conspiracy theory out there that cites that most of our, our modern day Hollywood actors, they're all fucking time travelers. Fucking going back in time, getting the best parts, and becoming famous. Nicholas fucking Cage. Come on now, you don't get that fucking famous and not be some sort of time lord. Justin Timberlake. Bruce Willis. John fucking Travolta. Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones. That guy knew what the f*** was up. Barack Obama just fucking walking around, just fucking top hatting it. Jay Z, Mark Zuckerberg, Will Ferrell, Michael Goddamn Jackson. How do you think he knew how to do all those Egyptian moves in that fucking video? You don't know that sh unless you are fucking there. Oh, further down the fucking rabbit hole we go. It just doesn't end. Now this actually, this is one of my favorite fucking stories that I came across. What was the story? Stephen Hawking's f***ing genius amongst men throws a party. A huge f***ing party. Champagne, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and the whole goddamn nine yards. Invites anybody who wants to come. No RSVP required. The catch, he doesn't send out the invitations to the party until the day after the party is over. What was the f***ing point? To see if time travel actually existed. And if it did, somebody would have gone to the party, which unfortunately nobody did. What a shame. Nobody fucking showed up. Maybe they just didn't fucking want to show up because they didn't want to reveal themselves, you know? That's a big thing in the time travel community, uh, unlike some other assholes that we spoke about earlier. Maybe they were just fucking, they were like, you know what, Stephen Hawking probably throws a good party, but we're not going to fucking play into that. If I could have fucking time traveled there, I would have gone to that goddamn party. Amongst, amongst fucking many other things. What, you may ask, that is a good question. What would I do? Hmm. What would you do? What would you do if you could fucking time travel to any point in time, change anything? To be honest, the first thing that I would do is just get fucking rich as balls. I would fucking bet on a World Series, a boxing match. I would pull a hot tub time machine. I would fucking be the singer of Journey. <laughs> but you gotta be careful, you know? It causes time rifts and time and distortions and all sorts of shit. The butterfly effect, whatever the fuck it's called. You don't want to get your shit all caught up in that. Here's another time travel fucking story. This one dude just comes out of nowhere. One day, throws down $800 into the stock market on this fucking one stock that, that gets bought within, you know, the next 24 hours. Dude makes $350 million on a fucking stock and then vanishes. Dude had a fucking tip, went back in time, threw some money on the table, collected, heftily, fucking time portaled out. That's what I need to do. Instead of fucking sitting here in my goddamn basement. All these stories, I don't know, you can make up your own fucking mind whether or not you think this shit is real or not. I'm always fucking taking science's side. Getting down to the bottom of it all. That's it! That's the end of the beer, which means that that is the end of the show. What would you do with time travel? Tell me down in the comments below what kind of f***ing crazy, weird, dastardly sh** that you would get up to if you had a time machine. I don't need any f***ing hero stories. You don't need to be saving JFK and sh**. I want to know the nitty gritty what the f*** you would do if you had a time machine. Uh, I'll make sure to pin up and like up uh, all the best ones that I see. The big question, however, is what do you guys want to talk about next? Uh, let me know your topics down in the comments below. And lastly, let me know what uh, year you are watching this video in. You never know, we may have some time travelers amongst us. I'll see you around here next time. Cheers.